you'll recognize these flowers from a previous video, a couple of them that I did with uh, with Father Kevin Leidick. Um, and I bring you back to these flowers because I find them so very beautiful, this delphinium. And um, I wanted to continue a little bit with what I talked in my last video about how important it is to um, capture from St. Ignatius um, not only his rules for discernment and for um, many of the things that he offers us on the exercises, in the exercises, but also in his capture of how our feelings, our love for God, should really help to orient our life in, um, in ways that give us a greater strength in serving God, a greater enthusiasm for serving God. Because if those first companions weren't enthusiastic in their love for God, they weren't anything. Um, they had a passion to serve the Lord. And that passion came from a very deep sense of God's love for them that gave birth in them to a tremendous love for God. And that was an emotional experience. And in that emotional experience, they were able to be enthusiastic and overcome um, so many obstacles uh, in their way, um, perhaps the greatest of all obstacles, um, their own selfishness and self-will. In the spiritual exercises, St. Ignatius shows at the very beginning and at the end of the exercises um, two experiences that he really asks the retreat and, um, to, to have, um, which is very interesting. He asks them to have emotional experiences. Um, at the beginning, it's, uh, it comes as someone is meditating upon um, kind of one's sinfulness. And he says at the last point of that, he says to be overcome with wonder and a surging emotion that the world has not collapsed around one because of one's sinfulness, but rather that one continues to be supported and uh, maintained and, and um, fostered and in many ways perhaps even pampered by life around one to continue life and to be overwhelmed by that. You know, and of course that experience of in spite of one's unworthiness to be um, helped in life is an experience that, that touches one very, very deeply. And of course at the end of the spiritual exercises, which we've looked at um, before, when one realizes all the graces and blessings that have come upon one, one is overcome um, by great um, gratitude to towards God. But prior to that, St. Ignatius has said, um, the nature of love is to share what one has with the one that is loved. And so God is the one who is sharing with us all this grace, even to the very virtues and goodness and and um, graces that God has in and um, in in and of Himself, He pours those into our lives. And our response, an emotional, powerful response, is to be one of great gratitude and enthusiastic service of the Lord. Um, and so, my challenge, I guess, from this wisdom of Saint Ignatius, is a challenge I feel myself that as I pray with these things, you know, from Saint Ignatius. I really am um, won over in my heart to want to serve and love God. And so as I come to these flowers, I say to myself, what do I know allows me to sense more deeply the love of God and to pray with that, to, uh, to find those things that really touch me and move me towards a more enthusiastic service of God and to go with that to see in the beauty of flowers and this wonderful new day that's dawning, um, to find those spiritual nuggets in reading that really move me. And, um, and in the wisdom of St. Ignatius, to renew my love for God as I sense God's love for me. And that's the wisdom of St. Ignatius for today.